My name is Tom Waddle, uh, class of 1989. I came from Cincinnati Moeller High School, and I am a very proud graduate of Boston College. I'm Steve Diossi, uh, class of 1984 at Boston College, and uh, from the Boston area, and uh, now uh, residing back in the Boston area. My name is Brian St. Pierre. I grew up in Danvers, Mass., went to St. John's Prep High School, and uh, came to BC in 1998, redshirted. Played from 99 to 02. Uh, was on a bunch of great teams. I'm Victor Crawford, class of 1983. Um, you know, born and raised in Detroit, Michigan, and a proud, you know, Eagle graduate, and just happy to be here and happy to represent Boston College. Uh, my name is Tim Bowman. Uh, I grew up in Milton, Massachusetts. I uh, went to Boston College High School uh, in Dorchester, Massachusetts, and uh, I ended up attending Boston College in 2001. Uh, my name is Brian Flores. Um, graduate of 2000 and 2003, graduated with a, a BA in English, and I graduated again in 2004 and, uh, with a Master's in Administrative Studies. Right now uh, I work at Lawrence Academy. It's a private boarding school in Groton, Massachusetts where I work in the admissions department. I'm also the head football coach. When I left Boston College I was fortunate enough to be drafted by the Pittsburgh Steelers in the fifth round uh, and went on to have an eight-year NFL career. Currently, I'm in the, uh, the, the property, property management business, shopping centers, mixed-use entertainment centers and the like, um, for about 28 years now. Right now, I'm the safeties coach for the New England Patriots. Uh, this will be my third year in that role. Today, I'm the chief operating officer for Airmark, so I run their healthcare business. Today, I am, uh, I'm in real estate. Commercial real estate is my focus. I, uh, I did it actually as a hobby um, while I was playing in the NFL and it really uh, sparked something in me that I wanted to turn 100% of my passion towards. Uh, I have the restaurant uh, down in Rhode Island and a cigar bar down there and trying to cover all my vices with, between steaks and cigars and uh, I do a bunch of radio and TV covering uh, the, uh, the NFL and the Patriots. I would say um, take advantage of, uh, of your time here. It's, it's, it's okay to have those dreams, but I would say surround yourself with multiple goals and dreams because you know the opportunities are gonna present themselves one way or another. Anyone who plays professional football, at, at, at some point that day, you're gonna finish that and you're gonna to need to proceed on to the next. And so the, the fundamentals, the, uh, the skills you acquire, the relationships you build, the people skills, all those things that you, that you would take advantage of during, the, uh, during these years are things you're gonna rely on for years and years beyond your days of playing. I mean, Boston, with the Boston College Connection, uh, has opportunities in anything you want to do, from medical, uh, technology, legal, financial, any type of career you want in Boston, the economy and environment is so attractive that you uh, have an opportunity to find whatever you're looking for right in your own neighborhood. The BC Connection has been solid on every front. Uh, obviously, I played with teammates uh, that made it to the National Football League, and then they became opponents on Sundays. Um, I, I made several connections after my playing days in the broadcast arena, whether it was Mike Mayock or Damian Woody or, or Tim Hasselback or others where our paths have crossed. Um, and just in general, the uh, the Boston College family is about as strong uh, a group or an entity as you could ever uh, imagine. 